to bring to the stage our president, Chef Thomas Gugler, and he will take over the reins for the rest of the day. I will go and lie down and assume the horizontal. I need to lie down. So a very, very good morning from my side. It's a great pleasure to have you all here today for our AGM Congress Abu Dhabi 2022. I know it wasn't really easy for you to come here, a lot of obstacles, but I'm looking forward to have a fantastic day today. This is just a short welcome to all of you. The intro comes a little bit later. First of all, I would like to introduce to you the existing Board of Directors. Please, all come on board, come up here, entire board. I just wanted to make sure that Andy don't lay down. I'll lie on the Maltini. <laughs> I am the Maltese, mate. Roll me down the aisle. So as you all know, the existing board of directors, Martin Kobalt, Uwe Michael, Neil Thompson, my good friend from Luxembourg, Mr. Alan Hostert, Andy Kaspert, Cornelia Volino, Peter Wright, Domenico Maggi, who is the next one, KK Yao, and last but not least, Rick Steven. These people, for the last years, most of them six to eight years on board, always represented your regions at its best, and I'm very happy and very proud to have a board like them, as they always give their best, and I want to say, Personally, thank you to all of you. Thanks for this years which you was with me and which you are on board. Thank you very much, gentlemen. The first thing I would like to do, a moment of silence for all the chefs, culinarians, which have left us. I just want to mention some of them, which was inducted partially even in the honorary lifetime membership of World Chefs. Wienand Vogel from the Netherlands, Axel Rühmann from Germany, Dr. Chef Sondra Rajan from India, Viktor Belayev from Russia, Wolfgang Rösler from Canada, Andres Atapoma from Peru, and many other colleagues and friends from all around the world. One minute of silence, please. Please stand. Thank you very much. Please take your seats. The first official action and appointment to do today goes to appoint the Sergeant of Arms, Mr. Neil Thompson, as well as a parliamentarian, Neil Thompson. I would like to make a vote. If you agree, please raise your hands to have actually Neil Thompson appointed for the two positions. Neil, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thomas, um, and good morning, colleagues um, and friends, chefs. It's a, it's a pleasure 
It's a pleasure to see so many people um, in the Congress Hall today, and actually a pleasure to see so many friends and colleagues from all over the world at this Congress. Um, just a little bit of, I may give some um, guidelines to the, uh, how the meeting will be conducted. Um, regarding uh, voting, uh, if only the voting delegate or the delegate holding the proxy of that country uh, may speak to a motion. <clears throat> um, the delegate making that motion um, will have three minutes to speak in support of the motion. If the delegate wishes to speak twice in support of the motion, after that, after they speak then, the motion will be closed. We have appointed three tabulators to count any votes. Jodie Ann Palmer of South Africa. There's Jodie. Thanks, Jodie. Marcus Holgren of Sweden. Marcus, thank you. And John Clancy of Ireland. John, is he in this, the room? Yeah. And Jody, I think you're going to act as timer as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the bylaws committee have, have made recommendations and these have been subsequently been approved, considered and approved by the board and they, you're all in your documents. Um, are there any questions on these procedures? No, no. thank you very much. Thomas. Neil, thank you, thank you very, very much. It's for the time being. Now, the next, what to come. Ragnar Friedrichsen, welcome and review of meeting and voting procedures. Thank you, President Thomas. Uh, good morning, dear presidents, dear delegates, dear chefs. Uh, very quickly, you have received the agenda. You have received uh, the agenda package with minutes of last meeting with the uh, bylaws uh, proposed changes. You have received the uh, financial report. Uh, this is uh, lying in front of you as well in a hard copy. Uh, now you have all got your voting paddles. I want to just assure, if not, please, if you have a proxy, if you have a uh, a voting right, then please we have a registration counter just outside the door. If you haven't done so already, please do that now so we can count your vote uh, as well as your proxies. Now it's going to be an open vote as uh, Neil mentioned, so raise your hand uh, long enough for the uh, counters to, uh, to, to count them. So uh, that is uh, about that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ragna. Excellent. Now the next thing what we have to do, Cornelia Volino, please, for the quorum results. Uh, Cornelia is still outside to get actually all the votes connected. Madam is here. Madam, it's coming with the results from the desk. Good morning. My apologies for making you late, uh, be late, but we had a few people come in just now. So for the quorum, we have a total of 61 eligible voting National Society members. We have 38 eligible voting National Society members present with five proxies for a total of 42 eligible voting National Society members and proxies. So therefore we have 70%, we have a quorum. Thank you very, very much, Cornelia. That's uh, very good news. And as I said before, despite of these difficult situations, having so many chefs from all around the world here. It's really amazing and I want to say thank you very much for that. The next motion actually to approve the minutes of the World Chefs General Meeting uh, 2022. It's 
proposed by myself to approve the minutes of 2022. They have been circulated, everyone has been seeing them. And uh, if you are in favor, if you, are, if you want to abstain or opposed, please, we would like to have your votes now. Are you in favor to approve the minutes of 2020? Please make your counts. Keep your paddles high, ladies and gentlemen. Counting ready? Anyone opposed? Anyone abstain? Madam South Africa. Thank you very, very much. So we have 43 eligible voting National Society members present and with proxies. So if you don't hold a proxy or you're the official representative, please don't vote for anything. <laughs> okay? <laughs> 